Thank you so much uh, for having me today. Uh, I have been here in previous capacities as well, uh, so good traditions uh, die last. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish to, uh, to continue my engagement uh, with you. I think it is uh, a crucial mm -hmm. issue uh, to stand by the Jewish community. The European Jewish community is uh, a founder of our civilization here in this continent. And I personally, and also this commission, is attaching great importance to defend uh, the values of Christianity and to defend the values of the Judeo-Christian roots of Europe. And it is for that reason that uh, you may have seen that uh, we're working very hard uh, to help this issue to not only be uh, talked about, but also to improve the daily life of the Jewish community in Europe. Uh, the last agenda item we had on our uh, table was the uh, report on racism in the European Union. And I must admit uh, that um, for me, there are two issues when it comes to uh, racism in Europe, two issues that are, that are European issues and two issues uh, that we have been struggling for hundreds of years and we continue to struggle with. And uh, I think that these are the two issues we should devote uh, most of our efforts. That is anti-Semitism and anti-Roma sentiments. These are the two homeworks of Europe that it needs to address. Without this, we cannot be credibly talking about anti-racism uh, in Europe. Unfortunately, we see uh, renewing attacks against the, the Jewish community. We can talk about a new feature of uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, some of it brought in, some of it ignited uh, also by the, uh, by the extreme left. And this is a new feature. And unfortunately, this is not only new, but it is also violent. And we see that the violence is on the rise uh, against the Jewish communities throughout. I'm very saddened uh, by this new uh, news from uh, Sweden. Um, if you can send me all the details, of course, I will, uh, I will try to come up with a communication very quickly uh, about it, because this is unacceptable. Uh, and this is deplorable, so we cannot, we, we cannot talk about uh, credible uh, anti-racism in Europe um, without, um, without addressing these issues. So, as you see, we have been working and we will continue to work for uh, this community because this is a value in itself. And we also see that more and more uh, of this community are choosing to leave Europe and we want to stop that because uh, it is your continent, you belong here, you, you should not leave uh, the places where your ancestors have always been living. So we would want you to stay, and uh, if I or the Commission can help you in this, uh, we would be more than happy to, to create the right conditions uh, for your stay. Um, and we are also in close contact uh, on this issue with the uh, government of Israel. Now, on the EU, uh, Israel relations, uh, which belongs to my portfolio, because as you know, anti-Semitism is handled by a vice president in this commission. This only shows uh, how important the issue is. It's Margarita Skinas. I think that you're going to be seeing him later on today. Uh, and we are making, a, I think, a strong team uh, for, for the interest of the Jewish community in the, in the commission. Now, when I look at the EU-Israel relations, I see a quite devastating picture. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, our relations have not been the best. Uh, but um, with the latest uh, political developments in Israel and around Israel, and uh, the, the agreements concluded with the Gulf countries and other major Arab countries, gives us hope that we can turn a page now and we can move into a new dynamism. On my side, uh, I urge all my colleagues to get quickly an Association Council uh, meeting. As you know, since 2012, we didn't have such a meeting. An Association Council is the body that runs the agreement, the big association agreement between Israel and Europe. And this body has not been together for eight years now. This is unacceptable. 
we have to have this uh, meeting and we have to set new priorities for our partnership. If I look at the daily life and the daily interaction uh, between the EU and Israel, what I see is that Israel is the strongest trade partner in the region, the most advanced in participation of, uh, in EU programs, uh, the most exchanges we have um, in terms of people, uh, students. So we have a flourishing set of uh, relations. Only at the political level we are missing this and we have to reflect uh, how our people are relating to one another because I think that this, this should be the example that, um, that we should be uh, working for. Um, I'm very pleased to tell you that um, I'm in very close contact uh, with the Israeli government on this issue. I just said uh, last week, uh, Gabi Ashkenazi on the phone, uh, also the strategic minister, uh, Madame Farkas, uh, and we are, we are making progress to be able to put this issue on the table of uh, the Council of Ministers here, just across the street. Uh, so to have our member states sitting together uh, with, the, with the Israeli partners. Because there is a huge potential. Israel gives uh, stability, gives security to the region, and it's a reliable partner. And we have to uh, trust Israel, and we have to work with them. Uh, and uh, it is a mutual interest to make this relationship uh, work for the benefit uh, of the whole region. Uh, and it is through Israel that we can also help the Palestinian uh, community, which is, of course, uh, also a priority uh, for this Commission. So with these words, I do thank you for uh, providing me this opportunity. I am um, quite uh, annoyed by the fact that we are still prevented uh, by COVID to have a real uh, get-together and a real meeting. That prevents me from, from going to Israel uh, these days, unfortunately, which is also a priority for me. Uh, but I do hope that uh, we will overcome this, as we have always done, uh, and we will get back to uh, our daily lives. Thank you very much for having me today, and I'm more than happy to... Yes. You will receive a gift, so you have to be... Yes. <laughs> So, uh, Commissioner, first of all, we would like to uh, thank you for many, many years of collaboration. We appreciate very much, um, not only you as a, as, as a person, but also when you represented uh, a country that for us uh, greatly the Jewish community. Uh, we do believe that the European Commission would do much, much better. Uh, just kindly uh, proposed the Commissioner to help more. Uh, we would like to present you um, as a sign of appreciation. It's called the shofar. Uh, the shofar is what Jewish people use on the most important, the most holy days of our calendar, on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and on Yom Kippur, which was just yesterday, the day of uh, forgiveness. Uh, the shofar it used to be, uh, it's on a, on a horn, it used to be uh, uh, serve the people when they wanted to, to inform all the Jewish people that they should come somewhere. But today it's used mainly as a way for people to express their feelings without talking. Sometimes words could be great, sometimes words could only limit uh, what we feel. Uh, this is why when we want to talk to God, and sometimes we cannot even express ourselves rightly, we blow the shofar. Uh, a shofar is also a way to express messages, to transmit uh, ideas. And this is why, uh, as a person, um, that uh, was many times a shofar, a way <laughs> to, uh, to pass the right messages and to be the voice of, uh, of truth and justice. We'd like to present it to you today and uh, wish you, first of all, many, many more years to come.